Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five of the rarest items or mobs or things that could have happened in natural, obviously, survival, vanilla, Minecraft, and I just fell off. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first one is, oh my gosh, is that a pink sheep? No way. A num naturally generated pink sheep has only a 0 0.164 chance of actually spawning. That's not even 1%. That makes it one of the rarest mobs slash items to find naturally generated. Now, obviously, you can always just find a white sheep and dye it pink, which isn't really that hard. But actually getting a naturally generated pink sheep is crazy difficult. That is why I'm putting it on this list as one of the rarest mobs slash items in Minecraft. Define naturally, of course. Let's move on to the next one. Next up on the list, we have the dragon egg. Not only do you need to travel to the end, you must also kill the actual ender dragon. And then after that, you can finally get the ender dragon egg of course if you just do this it will teleport away you must like um i believe it's put a torch underneath the block so let me quickly go and grab a torch here and let's see you just put the torch and you break the thing and there you go you got yourself a dragon egg voila and then you just fall back back to the portal and you beat the ender dragon. That's how you get the ender dragon egg. Let's move on to the next one. The next on the list, oh, you should have guessed it by now. Why are we in the end again? It's the elytra. So for the elytra, not only do you need to kill the ender dragon and even just get into the end, which is hard enough, you have to kill the ender dragon, which then you can also get the egg out of, pretty cool. To kill, after you kill the ender dragon, it'll actually open up one of these these things right here and what you need to do is you want to go kill one of these endermen grab an ender pearl fly back pillar up here and then actually use an ender portal ender pearl and go into it there we go and now you're actually in the end land thingy which is yeah if you just go through that it'll actually take you back to where you were before so now the point of here is you can go exploring and you have to try and find an actual end city. End cities are rare, but the elytra is even rarer. The end city only has 80% chance, which is actually pretty big. 80% chance of naturally generating with a ship. If there's a ship, you get an elytra. So, let's see if we can find one. As you can see here, we have found an end city where you can attack shulkers, get shulker shells, get shulker boxes, all that good loot. But sadly, no ship. So that means no elytra. We've got to keep searching. As you can see here, we have got another end city. But, oh, but again, no end ship, which is actually really surprising because there's an 80% chance of one being there. So you guys now know what it takes to find an elytra. Let's move on to the next one. And the next one, as you can see, is in my inventory. The enchanted golden apple. Also known as the god apple or notch apple or whatever you want to call it. But the enchanted golden apple is an item that you can't actually craft in uh, survival. You can get it in your, from the creative inventory. But the only way to find it in survival mode is to actually find it in either like a dungeon or a stronghold or in some sort of chest. The reason these things are so valuable is because if you eat one, look at that. Regeneration 2, Absorption 4, Resistance, and Fire Resistance. So technically, if you had one of these in the nether, and you ate it, you'd be good in lava for at least 5 minutes. Okay, so if you're thinking, wait, but you can craft these in survival. You could, until they said, no, you can no longer do it. So if I had a crafting table on me, and I was in a later version, an older version, I could probably do it. How the nether, how this thing was crafted is you would take your blocks of gold, you would need eight of them, you'd put them around like this. You only need eight, you don't need 64. Then you'd put an apple in the center. See, you don't actually get anything now because I'm in 1.16.1, .1, 1 
and they got rid of the crafting re recipe, so you can only actually find it in chests. Before, you could actually craft it like this. That's why it's super rare. Eight gold blocks and an apple. Apples aren't that hard. Eight gold blocks, sincerely difficult. Let's move on to the next one. And the very final one we have here is the cocoa bean seed. The reason these things are so, so hard to find is because they, they are, they're only generated in the jungle biome. You can find cocoa bean pods or cocoa pods, whatever you want to call them. That's the only way to get these. In previous versions, you could find them in uh, chests, I believe. Also, in previous versions, you could trade with villagers for these things. But now, they only generate in that one way in the jungle. Even in some previous versions, they didn't even generate in the jungle. They only generated in chests, making them super difficult. And they could actually they, they could actually be really useful. One thing you can do with these cocoa beans is you can craft them into brown dye. That's useful. You never know when you're gonna need some brown dye. That's why I put this on our list of some of the rarest items in the game. Hope this video helped you guys out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That'll be it for today's video, guys. See you guys next time in a brand new video.